in life's journey, we often encounter periods of struggle that can feel as overwhelming as a harsh winter storm. These times, which I like to call the winter arc, test our resilience, patience and strength. It's in these moments that many feel lost, questioning their purpose and wondering if the difficulties will ever end. But just as winter inevitably gives way to spring, these cold and seemingly desolate seasons of life serve a higher purpose, allowing us to dig deep within ourselves and find untapped strength. What we often forget is that winter is not just a time of survival, but a season of preparation and growth beneath the surface. Imagine standing in the middle of a snowstorm, feeling the sharp bite of the wind and the weight of the snow piling up. Everything around you seems frozen, devoid of life. But beneath the ground, roots are still growing, seeds are waiting for the right moment to sprout, and the earth is quietly preparing for renewal. Life operates in cycles, and winter is just one of the phases we must go through. It strips away the unnecessary, forcing us to confront what truly matters and develop an inner strength that no external force can diminish. The key to navigating the winter arc is to truly understand and accept that it serves as an essential stage in our personal growth. Often, we find ourselves in opposition to these challenging times, wishing for an easier, smoother path through life. We crave warmth, comfort and ease, naturally resisting the cold, harsh realities that life presents to us. But what we fail to realize in these moments is that it's precisely through these struggles, through the biting winds and icy roads of our personal winters, that we discover our true resilience. The difficult seasons, though painful, are the very crucible through which our inner strength is forged. In the natural world, Winter serves a vital purpose. It's a time for nature to conserve its energy, for the earth to rest and prepare itself for the bounty of spring. Trees shed their leaves, animals hibernate, and the entire ecosystem enters a phase of reflection, waiting and preparation. Nothing is wasted in this process. Every step is crucial for the cycle of life to continue. Similarly, in our own lives, these winter seasons, whether they manifest as personal loss, failure, uncertainty, or emotional hardship, are not periods of stagnation, but rather periods of deep reflection and unseen growth. They are moments where we are called to slow down, to pause, and to redirect our focus inward. During these tough times, it's vital to understand that we too need to conserve our emotional energy. Life can often feel like a relentless race with constant demands on our time, attention and resources. But winter reminds us that we cannot give from an empty well. In times of difficulty, we must be intentional about where we invest our energy. Just as a tree focuses on nourishing its roots during winter, Ensuring that it has a strong foundation for the coming growth of spring, we too must prioritize strengthening our inner selves. This means taking the time to reflect on our experiences, to learn from our challenges, and to build the mental and emotional resilience that will serve us in the future. This process of reflection is not always comfortable. In fact, it often involves facing parts of ourselves or our lives that we might rather avoid. It requires sitting with discomfort, with pain, and with the unknown. But it is through this discomfort that the most profound growth occurs. When we rush through these moments, seeking quick fixes or immediate relief, we miss the deeper lessons that winter has to offer. We deny ourselves the opportunity to grow into stronger, more self-aware individuals. Embracing the winter seasons of life means trusting in their purpose. It means recognizing that these difficult times are not obstacles standing in the way of our progress, but rather essential steps in our journey. They are shaping us, molding us into the people we are meant to become. And though it may not always be clear in the moment, 
These experiences are preparing us for future success, for future abundance. Just as the earth prepares itself in winter for the flourishing of spring, we too are laying the groundwork for the successes that are to come. The key is patience. We must resist the urge to rush through the process, to avoid the discomfort in search of immediate solutions. Growth takes time. The trees do not bloom overnight, and neither do we. But if we can trust in the process, if we can embrace the winter with all its challenges and uncertainties, we will emerge from it stronger, more resilient, and ready to thrive when the spring of our lives arrives. In our lives, we experience winters of all kinds, the loss of a loved one, financial hardships, health crises, or deep emotional struggles. These winters are not curses or punishments sent to break us down, but rather opportunities disguised in the harshness of cold winds and barren landscapes. They arrive unannounced and often leave us feeling vulnerable, exposed to the elements of life's unpredictability. Yet, beneath the surface of this discomfort, there lies profound potential for growth. These challenging moments force us to slow down when everything around us demands constant motion. They demand that we take stock of where we are and what truly matters. When faced with these winters, we are compelled to confront the deeper questions of life, questions we might have been too busy or too comfortable to ask during easier times. What are we truly working toward? What drives us? What are we willing to fight for, even in the darkest moments? These questions can feel overwhelming, especially when we are already burdened by the weight of loss, stress, or uncertainty. But it is precisely in these periods of difficulty that we often find the most clarity. Everything that is superficial or extraneous seems to fall away during these winters. The distractions, the noise, the societal pressures that often cloud our judgment and lead us away from our true purpose. They become irrelevant. What remains is the core of who we are and what we are meant to do. It's as if the cold strips away the outer layers we use to shield ourselves from the truth, leaving us face to face with our authentic selves. And while this can be uncomfortable, it is also a gift. In the stillness of winter, we are given the chance to reconnect with our deepest motivations. We are no longer defined by external success or approval. Instead, we are asked to define ourselves from within. Who are we when everything else is taken away? What values do we hold on to when the comforts of life are gone? What purpose do we pursue when faced with adversity? These winters, though painful, offer us the space to reflect and realign ourselves with what is most important. They strip away the distractions and force us to focus on the essentials, on our character, our purpose and our relationships. And it is in this process of distillation that we often find clarity, strength and a renewed sense of purpose. What we once viewed as setbacks become opportunities to rebuild, to start again, and to do so with a clearer understanding of who we are and what we want out of life. During these harsh seasons of life, it's only natural to feel isolated, as though you are standing alone, facing forces far too powerful to conquer. The solitude that winter brings can feel overwhelming, almost suffocating, as the usual support systems and distractions fade away. The silence can be deafening and the world may seem distant, leaving you feeling as if you are battling against the cold with no one by your side. But it is precisely within this solitude, this quiet stillness, that we are given the rare opportunity to meet our truest selves. In the absence of constant noise, the hum of daily life and the endless stream of distractions, we are forced to confront what lies beneath the surface. The world slows down, and in this stillness, we can hear something we often miss in the busier, more chaotic times of our lives. The quiet, inner voice that holds the wisdom of our true purpose. This voice, often buried beneath the weight of expectations, 
responsibilities and external pressures begins to emerge when everything else fades away. Winter, in its starkness, removes the layers of distraction that typically obscure this voice. It allows us to reconnect with that deeper part of ourselves, the part that knows who we truly are and what we are meant to do. While the rest of the world may seem dormant, there is a quiet stirring within. This voice, though faint at first, grows louder the more we listen, guiding us back to the path we may have wandered from. In this season of isolation, there is also a gift, a chance to rediscover our purpose, to reflect on what truly matters, and to realign ourselves with the core values that define our lives. Without the usual noise of the outside world, we have the clarity to ask ourselves the most important questions. What is our real purpose? What are we passionate about? What do we truly value? These questions are often drowned out when we are caught up in the busyness of life, but winter creates the space to explore them deeply. It is in this solitude that we realize we are not truly alone. The answers we seek, the guidance we need, they have always been within us, waiting for us to quiet the chaos long enough to hear them. Winter strips away the unnecessary, leaving us face to face with our authentic selves. And in that authenticity, we find strength, purpose, and a renewed sense of direction. This season, though challenging, offers an opportunity for profound self-discovery. By embracing the solitude and listening to that inner voice, we can realign ourselves with what truly matters and emerge from winter with a deeper understanding of who we are and where we are headed. Finding strength during these times doesn't mean putting on a brave face or pretending that everything is fine. It doesn't mean suppressing the pain, fear or uncertainty that naturally accompany life's harsh seasons. True strength lies in the ability to acknowledge the reality of the struggle, to fully feel the weight of the challenges, but to keep moving forward regardless it's not about avoiding or denying the discomfort, it's about embracing it and choosing to persevere in spite of it. This is where resilience is born. Resilience in its purest form is the capacity to bend without breaking. It's the ability to weather the storm, to face the cold winds and barren landscapes of our personal winters, while holding on to the belief that spring will eventually come. It's not about being unshakable or immune to life's difficulties, but about being able to absorb the impact, adapt, and continue on the path. Just as a tree bends under the weight of snow without snapping, true strength means allowing ourselves to feel the pressure of our struggles while remaining rooted in the knowledge that we will endure. In the winter arc of life, Strength doesn't come from avoiding the pain or pretending the hardship isn't real. It comes from a deep understanding that these difficult times are temporary, that they are not the end of the journey, but rather an essential part of the cycle of life. Just as winter is followed by spring in nature, our personal winters, no matter how long or severe, are followed by seasons of growth, renewal and abundance. What gives us the strength to keep going during these times is the knowledge that they serve a purpose. These winters, as challenging as they may be, are part of the larger rhythm of life. They force us to slow down, to reflect, to dig deeper into ourselves. They test our resilience and in doing so, help us cultivate it. When we embrace this understanding, we can face the coldest and darkest moments with the quiet confidence that they are not permanent and that within them lies the seed of future growth. Strength, then, is not about avoiding the storms of life, but about weathering them with hope. It's about trusting in the process, in the cycle of life that assures us that no winter lasts forever. By accepting that these seasons are a natural part of our journey, we find the courage to keep moving forward, knowing that spring will come and that we will emerge stronger, wiser and more resilient than before. 
One of the greatest challenges of the winter arc is maintaining hope when everything around us feels cold, desolate, and seemingly endless. In the darkness of winter, when the days are short and the nights stretch long, it's easy to lose sight of the fact that light will eventually return. The overwhelming sense of isolation or hardship can cloud our vision, making it difficult to believe that warmth, growth and joy are just on the other side of the horizon. But hope is not something that passively appears in our hearts. It's a practice, an active choice, and something we must cultivate, even in the bleakest of moments. Hope, like resilience, requires effort. It's not enough to simply wish for better days ahead. We must actively nurture that belief, even when circumstances make it difficult. Just as a farmer continues to tend the land throughout the cold winter months, trusting that beneath the surface the soil is preparing for new life, we too must continue to work on ourselves during our personal winters. Even when the ground seems frozen and the growth is invisible, the farmer knows that spring will bring new possibilities. In the same way, we must keep tending to our inner lives, nurturing our dreams and believing in the potential for growth, even when we can't see immediate results. This is where the strength of hope comes in. Hope is not blind optimism or wishful thinking. It's a form of faith in the process of life. It's the belief that the cycles of hardship and renewal are a natural part of existence and that no winter, no matter how harsh, is eternal. Hope teaches us to trust in the unseen forces at work, in the rhythms of life that guide us through our struggles and into periods of growth. When we cultivate hope, we are placing our faith not only in the future, but in our own ability to endure and thrive, even in the face of adversity. Maintaining hope requires us to continue taking small, meaningful actions, even when the outcome is uncertain. Just as the farmer prepares the fields during winter, trusting that the seeds will eventually bloom, we must continue to invest in ourselves, to work on our goals, and to care for our mental, emotional, and spiritual health. It's easy to lose motivation when we don't see immediate progress, but hope reminds us that growth often happens beneath the surface, where we can't see it. It may take time, but the effort we put in during our winter seasons will bear fruit when the conditions are right. In this way, hope becomes a form of quiet strength, it allows us to keep going when things seem bleak, to hold on to the belief that better days are ahead, and to trust that the winter we are experiencing is not the end of the story. By cultivating hope, we are not denying the challenges of winter, but rather affirming our faith in the cycle of life and in our own resilience. We are choosing to believe that just as winter gives way to spring, our hardships will eventually give way to growth renewal, and new opportunities. Purpose emerges as a crucial concept during the winter arc, serving as a guiding light in times of darkness and uncertainty. When life flows smoothly, it's easy to drift aimlessly, going through the motions without much contemplation about the deeper significance of our actions. We often find ourselves caught up in routines, fulfilling obligations, and pursuing fleeting pleasures, losing sight of the underlying motivations that drive us. However, in the depths of winter, when challenges arise and the world feels bleak, we are compelled to confront the hard questions we may have avoided in easier times. What is my purpose? Why am I here? What do I truly want to accomplish? These questions, though uncomfortable, are vital for our growth and transformation, they push us to dig deeper, to reflect on our values, passions, and the legacy we wish to create. In the stillness of winter, we have the space to examine our lives more closely and assess whether we are on a path that aligns with our true selves. This process of introspection can be illuminating, revealing aspects of ourselves that we may have overlooked or neglected. Finding our purpose during these difficult times becomes an anchor, providing us with direction and clarity when the path ahead feels daunting. 
It serves as a beacon of light in the darkest hours, reminding us of the greater vision that inspires our journey. Purpose fuels our determination, infusing our actions with meaning even when we encounter obstacles. It becomes the internal compass that guides us through the storm, offering a sense of stability amidst the chaos. When we have a clear sense of purpose, we are more equipped to face adversity with courage and resilience. Each challenge becomes an opportunity for growth rather than a setback. We begin to see our struggles as integral parts of our journey, shaping us into the individuals we are meant to become. Purpose provides context to our pain, reminding us that we are moving towards something greater, even when the way forward is fraught with difficulties. Moreover, the act of pursuing our purpose instills hope and motivation. It encourages us to take meaningful actions, no matter how small, that align with our goals and aspirations. Even in the harshness of winter, we can nurture our purpose by setting intentions, creating plans and taking steps, however incremental, toward our dreams. This active engagement in our purpose helps dispel feelings of helplessness and despair, reinforcing our belief that we are capable of creating positive change in our lives. As we navigate the winter arc, it becomes clear that purpose is not just a lofty ideal. It is a vital component of our resilience. It is the thread that connects us to our true selves and our aspirations, helping us stay grounded even when the winds of life threaten to sweep us away. By embracing our purpose, we cultivate the strength to keep going, the courage to face the storms, and the clarity to forge a path toward a brighter future. In this way, the winter of our lives transforms from a time of hardship into a season of profound discovery and growth. It's important to remember that purpose is not something we find once and then forget about. It evolves as we evolve, and winters in our lives often prompt us to reassess our purpose. What may have driven us in the past might no longer feel relevant, and that's okay. Winter gives us the opportunity to redefine our purpose, to align it with who we are becoming rather than who we were. This process of redefinition is one of the most powerful aspects of the winter arc. It's a time of transformation, of shedding old layers and emerging stronger, clearer and more focused. In the harshest winters, we are reminded of the importance of community and connection. Just as animals huddle together for warmth during the coldest nights, we too need the support of others to get through life's tough seasons. It's easy to isolate ourselves when we're struggling, but reaching out for help, sharing our burdens, and allowing ourselves to be vulnerable can provide the warmth we need to survive. The Winter Arc teaches us that strength doesn't always mean standing alone. Sometimes it's about knowing when to lean on others and when to offer a helping hand. As we navigate the winter arc, it's crucial to take care of ourselves. Just as the body needs nourishment, rest and care during the cold months, so too does the mind and spirit. Self-care in winter is not a luxury but a necessity. It's about preserving your energy, tending to your mental and emotional health, and being kind to yourself as you navigate the challenges. Winter is a time for reflection, for slowing down, and for taking stock of where we are and where we want to go. It's a season of preparation, both externally and internally. We often talk about resilience as if it's something we either have or don't have. But resilience is a skill that can be cultivated, especially during the winter arc, it's about learning how to adapt, how to shift your perspective, and how to find meaning in the struggle. Resilience doesn't mean we don't feel pain or fear. It means we don't let those emotions stop us. We learn to carry them with us, to acknowledge them, but to keep moving forward anyway. The winter arc teaches us that we are stronger than we realize, and that we can endure far more than we think. In the end, the winter arc is about transformation. It's about using the harsh seasons of life 
as a catalyst for growth. It's about finding purpose and strength in the most unlikely of places. It's about trusting that, even when everything seems frozen and lifeless, there is movement beneath the surface. It's about understanding that winter, though difficult, is a necessary part of life's cycle. It clears the way for new growth, for new opportunities, and for us to become the best version of ourselves. As we emerge from the winter arc, we find ourselves transformed, not merely as the same individuals who entered this phase, but as stronger, wiser, and more resilient beings. The challenges we faced, the struggles we endured, and the pain we experienced have shaped us into who we are today. The scars we carry from these seasons are not symbols of weakness or defeat. Rather, they stand as powerful testaments to our survival, our endurance, and our transformation. Each scar tells a story of the battles we fought, the storms we weathered, and the lessons we learned along the way. They serve as constant reminders of what we have overcome and of the strength we have discovered within ourselves. The Winter Arc teaches us that even in the coldest and darkest of times, there is still beauty, purpose, and hope to be found. It invites us to explore the depths of our being, to confront our fears, and to embrace the discomfort of uncertainty. This journey, while often challenging, is ultimately one of profound discovery and growth. It reminds us that life is not always easy, but it is always meaningful. Each season we endure, each challenge we face, and each moment of struggle contributes to the tapestry of our existence, shaping us into the individuals we are meant to be and preparing us for the next chapter of our lives. When the snow finally melts and the first signs of spring begin to appear, we will look back on our winter not as a time of suffering, but as a season of growth, self-discovery, and newfound strength. It is through the harshness of winter that we learn to appreciate the warmth and vibrancy of life. The contrast between the cold and the warmth helps us understand the value of resilience and the importance of hope. The lessons learned in our darkest hours illuminate our path forward, guiding us as we step into the brightness of spring. In the end, it's the winters of life that mold us, that reveal our true character and that teach us what it truly means to live with purpose and strength. Each hardship faced, each moment of doubt endured, becomes a stepping stone on our journey towards self-actualization. The trials of winter compel us to dig deep, to seek out our inner fortitude, and to emerge on the other side more complete and authentic than ever before. As we reflect on our journey through the winter arc, we come to understand that these periods of difficulty are not merely obstacles to overcome, but essential components of our personal evolution. They provide us with the insights necessary to navigate the complexities of life, enriching our experiences and deepening our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. The wisdom gained from these trials becomes a guiding force, allowing us to approach future challenges with a sense of confidence and clarity. Ultimately, the Winter Arc serves as a poignant reminder that life's most profound lessons often emerge from the most challenging circumstances. It is within these moments of struggle that we uncover our resilience, cultivate our strength and rediscover our purpose. Each season of hardship enriches our character and equips us with the tools we need to navigate the complexities of life with grace and determination. As we step into the light of spring, we carry with us the knowledge that we are not defined by our struggles, but by how we rise from them, embracing the journey of life with renewed vigor and an unwavering commitment to our purpose.